Hello everyone, I'm X13, welcome back to the Aero Team channel. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to build the Embraer ERJ145 in 1.5 to 1 scale. The Embraer ERJ145 is a short-haul regional airliner manufactured by the Brazilian aircraft manufacturer Embraer. It first flew on August 11th, 1995 and entered revenue service on April 6th, 1997. The aircraft is still being built and operated to this day with airlines around the world. It is especially popular with Commute Air, Envoy Air, and Piedmont Airlines, which fly flights for United, Delta, and American. This aircraft was designed by Warellas, with the rest of the team adding some things. In this build, I'll show you how to build the ERJ-145, as well as the ERJ-145XR variant, which includes winglets. As I mentioned beforehand, this build is in 1.5 to 1 scale, meaning 1 meter in real life equals exactly 1.5 blocks in Minecraft. This aircraft will scale perfectly with all other 1.5 to 1 tutorials on the channel, as well as your own 1.5 to 1 scaled builds. As always, this aircraft does make use of our very own Aero Team texture pack. A download link to the latest version, currently Dev 16, can be found in the description and the Discord. If you can't download the pack for whatever reason, I'll be giving some tips to convert the aircraft to default throughout the video. However, keep in mind that this aircraft was designed in the pack, so it might look a bit odd without it. As for dimensions, this aircraft is 46 blocks long, 29 blocks wide without winglets, 31 blocks wide with winglets, and 11 blocks tall. Let's get working on layer 1. Alright, so, uh, just before we start on layer uh, 1 and 2, uh, I'll just show you, here's the regular ERJ-145 variant, uh, you can see there's no winglets on it, uh, and here is the XR variant uh, with the winglets. Alright, so to start, uh, you might have heard I said layers 1 and 2, um, and the reason for that is the wing box actually drops down a full uh, block layer with these trapdoors and slabs on the bottom. So instead of starting at the wing box and then going all the way towards the nose for layer 2, technically, uh, we're just going to start with layer 2, and then when we get back to the wing box, uh, we'll also include layer 1. Uh, but yeah, so we can now head over here. And to start, uh, we're going to come two blocks off the ground, uh, and then a birch uh, trapdoor up top. You can now delete those blocks. Uh, it's just a placeholder so that we can get that trapdoor in position. Uh, you're next going to grab your, don't have it, your quartz slabs. There you go. Uh, and you can place three in a row uh, right there as top slabs. Uh, we're then going to get our purple slabs, and you place uh, five in a row. One, two, three, four, five. And then now we are going to use a little bit of world edit. So you can get your stone button out, and then in the middle block of these five purple slabs, you can just place a white wool on either side. Now this is a temporary block, and if you have world edit, you can take a stick or any tool, uh, type slash repl zero, click enter, and then we're going to place a button on either one of these blocks. Uh, left click on the button, you can delete it now, and then just right click it onto the fuselage. Left click and right click. And I believe these are just for some uh, static ports on the side of the aircraft. Um, if you don't have uh, World Edit, you won't be able to do that as, you know, uh, you can't place buttons on the side of the uh, slabs. Um, so you can just leave that off. Oh, but yeah, uh, to continue down, we're going to get our quartz stairs. And we're going to place an upside down backwards quartz stair for an airfoil extension on the bottom of the fuselage. We can now go back another five with our purple slabs. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go back one more and make that three wide. So we should have birch trap door, three quartz, five purple stair five of uh, purple, and then a three wide of purple. On either side of this, we're going to go back with our purple slabs, and then in the center, with our purple stairs, we're going to get a upside down forward facing one, just like this. And then going to get our white wool, and come back one with it, and then put upside down uh, purple stairs facing forward on either side of that. And this is just the start of the wing box here. Come back one more with the white wool, and then purple stairs on either side, uh, facing uh, just outward, like so. 
um, and these are just for some uh, small vents on the side of the wing box. All right, we can now come back a total of five. It's going to be a five by three area of white wall. So we can go one, two, three, four, and five. There you go. Uh, just one more in the center, and then you're going to get your light blue glazed terracotta. And this is for if you're doing the wheels retracted. Um, so that, like the 737, um, the ERJ145 does not have uh, doors to cover the wheel. Um, so when they're retracted in the aircraft, um, you can actually still see the wheel. So to uh, do that, what we're going to do is if we just place this there we go um get the variant with the black on bottom and white on top uh and then you could just place it over there but it's going to be hard to get the right like uh orientation so i'm just gonna uh ripple it over if we just do some temporary blocks like that and there we go now we can do a two by three of white wool so one two uh, one more in the center, and then purple, slat, purple stairs on either side, sorry. Uh, and now what we're going to do is... I'm going to delete some of these blocks so I can get under here. Uh, now what we're going to get is our birch trapdoor, spruce trapdoor, uh, jungle button, and stone button. As well as a polished granite slab and purple slab. So starting, let me just go back some more here. In between these wheels, we can just start with one. Actually, before we do that, it would be easier if we just do stone buttons on either one of these. Birch trap door in the middle. And then we're going to do a purple slab coming forward. And then the polished granite slab for the uh, beacon light underneath the fuselage. A birch trap door in front of it. And then you can do three on either side. It's getting kind of hard to do under here, like so. Sorry if this is a little confusing. Uh, coming forward from this three, we're going to have one in the center, and then a spruce trap door on either side, which is a stone texture. Uh, we're going to come forward with three more birch trap doors uh, once more, and then just a single one in the center. Uh, then you're going to get your jungle button. Uh, and place one parallel to the fuselage like that. So you can place it either like this or like this. Uh, and you want to place it like this, upside down though. Uh, so just like that. Uh, let me just clean this up real quick. Uh, like so. There we go. And hopefully that's everything for the underside of the fuselage. Because uh, I don't want to go down there again. Anyway, to continue on. We can get our purple stairs out again, and just place one more on this uh, back most block. Purple slab out to either side, and then a row of three across. And then we're just going to have four uh, further back, so one, two, three, four. Uh, and that'll do it for layers one and two. Alright, so starting on layer two, uh, you're first going to come down to this uh, birch trapdoor here, and just place a single... Uh, purple uh, half slab on top of that. Come back two blocks with your white wool. Then you're going to get your light blue glazed terracotta again. And let's see, can we find it? There you go. And put in the variant uh, with the black on top and white on the bottom. Uh, this is for some interior detail on top. However, there's going to be upside down purple stairs facing forward, like that on either side so this uh, would show through if it was black all the way through anyway after you place those stairs on the left side of the aircraft only uh, we're gonna place three blocks coming back so one two three and in the center of those blocks we can place one stone button for another static port on the side you can see there on the right side of the aircraft, we're going to come back five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Now, this is because the L1, if we come over here, 
on the ERJ145, the L1 and R1 doors are offset. Um, so if you don't, uh, or if you just mirror it over, uh, the doors will not be in the correct uh, place. So just make sure that you do that. Uh, so yeah, coming back over here, we get our stone button again. Uh, and just uh, parallel with this other stone button, you can place one there. And then right forward to these stairs, we can place a stone button on, on either side. These are for PO tubes, and I believe these are static uh, ports. All right, so now getting out your quartz stairs. On the left side, we're going to be placing a quartz stair facing inwards, like so. And that's going to have a spruce button on it. Uh, for some small red uh, marking on it. And then on the uh, right side here, we're going to have just a regular block of quartz, and uh, that doesn't have anything on it. Uh, so yeah. Uh, now this is going to take a second here, but we are going to go 25 blocks back with both sides. Uh, so let's do that now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And with the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, now that we're at the back of the aircraft, uh, we can continue. So we're going to get our smooth stone and just level with the left side of the aircraft. We can just place one smooth stone there. That's just for the uh, beginning of the cargo hold. Get your block of quartz out again and you're just going to place one of those on the left side of the aircraft with a... Oh, looks like I got rid of it. Uh, there we go. A stone button on the side. We can then uh, place a, another white wool on it with a purple stair coming off uh, both of those. And then in the center here, we're going to place uh, two purple half slabs just so that we can leave space for the cargo hold in here. All right, and then we're just going to place one uh, white wool back from that with purple top slabs on either side. Place a row of two purple top slabs on the left side, and then with a quartz one on the right side. Uh, and then just on this purple half slab here, we're going to put a stone button on that. Oh, I already have it. Um, so you can just take your REPL tool again, left click and right click it on, just like that. Uh, and then we can, let's see, just place one. Uh, purple half slab like so, uh, and that should do it for layer three. Uh, I did actually miss uh, just one detail in layer three, and that is just on the right side of the aircraft here. Uh, just as for quartz block, you can place a uh, stone button on that. Uh, but other than that, we're all done. All right, so to start layer four here, we're first going to come down to this uh, block with the buttons on the other side, third block from the uh, front here. Uh, and just place three layers of snow. Uh, now you might have noticed that snow is a white wool texture uh, in the Aero Team resource pack. Uh, so if you've got the pack, you can uh, just use snow. If you don't, uh, I would say still use snow just because it's still pretty white, uh, so it'll probably still work. Uh, but yeah, anyways, moving on. Just back from that, on top of this uh, half white, half black block, you can place five snow layers. So one, two, three, four, five, with a Birch trapdoor on either side, or uh, iron if you're in default, uh, and then five more snow layers on either side. So one, two, three, four, five, and there you go. And that should be all the snow for this layer. Now we're going to get our light blue glazed terracotta again to start the cockpit windows, uh, and we're just going to place three of those in a triangle fashion, like so. Uh, so these are the half white, half black blocks, as mentioned beforehand. Uh, if you don't have the pack, it's going to be pretty hard to recreate this. Um, I would say maybe just use, well for this one you can just use a uh, full uh, block of black wool. Uh, for these, you can maybe just put slabs here and then do, uh, 
let's see. Black wall in here like this, so that when you've got the nether brick slabs on top, it kind of looks like that. It'll look right from the side, but, you know, it definitely won't look uh, perfect. Um, so yeah, I would definitely try and get the pack for stuff like this. When windows fall in between layers, it's pretty hard to recreate that in vanilla. Uh, so yeah. But anyways, moving on. Uh, we can now get our... Oh, don't have it. Our stone button out again. And on both sides, on this, uh, snow layer just before the cockpit windows, uh, we're just gonna place a temporary block here. And a stone button on either side. Just like... Place one there. There you go, just like so. Alright, moving backwards on the left side only, we've just got one block of wool. And then you can grab your quartz stairs again and just place another quartz stair uh, forward or facing inwards, like so. Uh, on the left, or sorry, right side of the aircraft, um, we're gonna have three blocks one, two, three. And then a quartz stair facing forward, like that. All right, uh, behind, uh, so this is this is the windows layer. Um, I know it normally takes a little bit longer to get to it, but this aircraft is so small that, uh, yeah, we're only on layer four, and we're there's only one more layer after this. So, uh, so yeah, pretty small aircraft. But um, anyway, on the left side we are going to bring it back all the way to the exit windows, uh, and then the, the letters will start evening out. Oh, so yeah, so this will be on the left side only. We're just going to place one block of wool right behind the scored stair. Purpose stair facing forward, purpose stair facing backwards, and then another block. That pattern is going to repeat uh, four and a half times, kind of. So we got, so this will be our first pattern. And then we got one right there. So that's two in all. Three, like so. Four. And five. Like that. Now, if you look on the aircraft, we're a little bit far back. And the reason for that is because the uh, exit door is right here. So if you just want to replace this last uh, one right there with a the stair. And uh, that'll do it for the exit. Uh, now for the right side, it's a little bit different. We are just going to start uh, right behind this stair with a rear facing stair and then a block. So we can kind of just copy this pattern all the way back to just there. So forward, backward, block, forward, backward, block, forward, backward, block, forward, and then court stair and then block. All right. Uh, backwards from that, we've just got a couple more of these patterns. So we already have this block here, so we can go forward, backward, block, like that. Uh, so that's one. Forward, backward, block, that's two. And then, let's see, forward, and then I think that is it. Yep, that's the last window right there. So you just got two of those full patterns, so... This is one, two, and then just one extra stair right there. All right, now for the uh, tail section. Uh, we're just going to start uh, on the sides here with eight wall blocks going back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do that on both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then coming back to the cargo hold here, we can grab our smooth stone and our jungle trapdoor, which in the Aerotine texture pack is a smooth stone texture. Place another smooth stone on top of uh, that previous one that we had. Jungle, or three jungle trapdoors on top, and then a smooth stone just behind it. Uh, and this is just the cargo hold right here. Normally the cargo hold's in the bottom of the aircraft underneath the passengers, but on stuff like the ERJ-145, CRJ series, um, it's just too small for that. So instead, they've got the cargo hold at the back here. All right, continuing on, we have four blocks coming back from the smooth stone. One, two, three, four. And then we have an andesite top slab and a, not birch, spruce trapdoor right there, like so. 
and, and then we've just got a couple button details so if you want to get your jungle button and stone button on these two blocks on either side it plays a stone button on the first one and then just on the right side here it plays a jungle button uh, and that will do it for layer four only one more layer of the fuselage all right, so now for layer five, we're just gonna start with our nether brick slabs and just place one on top of all these half black blocks here. And then continuing back in between all these, we've got just one purple top slab and then a white wall back from that. Now we're gonna place a, we're gonna do the center first and then I'll do the slabs on the side. Um, so we are first gonna come back with a uh, upside down stair facing backwards and then corner that off to the left so that looking forward the uh, stair is this little part is on the right then i'm just going to have another proper top slab uh sorry and then a so now we're going to go back uh 21 blocks with the sideways stairs um now the reason that this stair is like this is because on the erj 145 there are only um, there are only uh, overhead bins on one side of the aircraft, so this is to represent that. But anyway, from this stair, twenty-one blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. All right, and then we've just got 11 uh, blocks going back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, and then we will just add another spruce trapdoor on the back of that, and that's just to finish off the APU there. All right, now on the sides, you've got some quite long layers here. Uh, so first, just right behind this another brick slab, only on the left side of the aircraft, just one uh, purple slab. Quartz slab just to finish off this door. And then now we're going to do a row of 30 slabs. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. There you go. Now on this right side here, uh, the door isn't here, it's back here, but it's also slightly shorter, which means that there's no quartz slab here. So we're just going to go back 32 uh, slabs on this side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. All right, and those should match up evenly. All right, now what we're gonna do is some of the extra details on the top of the fuselage. You can see we've got some aerofoil extensions, the beacon light, stuff like that. Uh, so we can get your jungle button, spruce button, and lever. All right, so starting at the, let's see. Starting at the block that is even to the right side door here, we're just going to place one jungle button facing parallel to the fuselage, like that. Coming back, let's see, coming back four blocks now. One, two, three, four, and on the fifth one, just one more jungle button, and these should be all parallel to the fuselage. Uh, two more, and then on that third block, a lever flicked facing backwards. One block gap, and then we're going to have our spruce button, uh, and that is for the uh, beacon light right there, you can see. We're going to come uh, one more block back, and then we're going to have two jungle buttons in a row. Not really sure what those are for, actually. Um, just some little things on top. Uh, Rels could probably tell you or someone. Uh, and then we've just got another space of one on the second block back, another lever. Then we've got a space of five, one, two, three, four, five, and then just one final lever. Uh, and that will finish the fuselage of the ERJ-145. All right, so now for the tail, uh, just real quick, I'm going to add in one final vent detail on the side of the fuselage here. It's only on the right side, we're just going to place above this uh, jungle button here, just one dark oak trapdoor flicked up. It's kind of a dark brick 
uh, texture. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we're all good. Okay, so now for the vertical stabilizer. We're first going to start on this block right there. Um, and we're going to go seven blocks forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then just two more with your perverse slab. Now we can get our nether brick slab out. And come two blocks back. And on that third block, just one right there. We're going to get our light blue glaze terracotta in place. Let's see. Not like that. There we go. Uh, the white on bottom, black on top variant right there with a nether brick slab on top of that. Rear words from that, uh, from this uh, half black block, just three blocks back, and then a purple top slab here. Behind uh, this half slab that we placed, just another light blue glazed terracotta uh, with the black on top. I'm going to place a white wool behind that, and then we're going to have a stone button on either side of that one. Backwards from that, just two more uh, blocks. Then we're going to have a nether brick slab on top of uh, that block there. Light blue glazed terracotta, uh, just the same uh, stuff we've been doing. Two more uh, blocks back, and then we're going to get our uh, birch trapdoor like this, uh, just so that we can kind of get this nice curve back. There's kind of a appendage that comes back from the back of the tail, so that's what uh, that will be represented when we're done. Uh, and then we're going to get our nether brick stairs, just to place one on top of this half black, half white block. And now we're going to get our light blue glazed terracotta again, but this time we're going to be using it for the half black, half smooth stone texture like this. Uh, and then we're just going to go two white wool back, uh, one purple slab, and then just grab your trapdoors uh, once again, and just on these last three blocks, just uh, three more. Uh, now, if you've got world edit, we can place the tail light on the back of the tail there that you can see. Uh, now we can just do a temporary block torch. Uh, I've still got my uh, rep replace tool from the uh, earlier stages of the fuselage. Just left click and right click again. Uh, and that will be the tail strobe light, I believe it is. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it for the uh, vertical stabilizer. All right, now moving on to the horizontal stabilizer. We're just going to come down, down to this half black, half smooth stone texture. Um, and we're going to get our spruce trapdoor, which is a stone texture. Uh, I just place two uh, of those on this block and then just two more under it, like so. Uh, next to, or just, uh, behind it, we can place two, uh, uh, sorry, not smooth stone, stone brick slabs. And then out, out of that, uh, two stone slabs. Back from that again, more stone brick, uh, two more. And then two smooth stone slabs on the end, so it should look like that from above. Uh, it's super small, so we can just do it on both sides. Uh, so just again, coming down to this, uh, smooth stone uh, and black block, two uh, trapdoors coming out from it, and two from the bottom, two stone brick slabs, two stone slabs, two more stone brick slabs, and then two smooth stone slabs on the end like that. Uh, and that is all for the horizontal stabilizer, so now we're going to move on to the wings. Alright, so to continue on with the ERJ45, we're now going to be starting with the wing. Uh, so first we're just going to build a basic uh, wing root. Uh, and to start that, if you come to this block with this spruce trapdoor right here, uh, and just place a stone uh, slab, top slab, uh, right on top of that block, uh, that's where the wing will be starting. Uh, three smooth stone full blocks, stone brick slab, and then one smooth stone slab. Pretty small wing root, uh, just to add a little bit more detail, uh, we've just got one white carpet uh, on that first uh, smooth stone and a black one on the second just for that uh, overwing exit marking. We're also going to add the landing lights so if we just put in a temporary block right there, put in a torch and just replace it over, normal. There we go, so that'll be the root of the wing. Uh, now to move on with the 
the uh, outline of it. Uh, we're going to start with the leading edge and just take a nice uh, big outline all the way around. Alright, so coming down to this uh, first smooth stone block, you can just place two uh, smooth stone, or not smooth stone, uh, just stone top slabs off of that. Go back diagonally and just two more. Go back diagonally, two more. And then go back diagonally and one up and two. Go back diagonally, two again. Go back diagonally, one. And then we're going to get our polished granite slab for our red nav light and put that there. Smooth stone slab uh, behind it. And then now we're going to start coming in. So we just got three uh, stone brick slabs. Come in one. We have two. Come down one one more and then in one more and then we are going to do uh, two smooth stone slabs here one stone brick slab and then one smooth stone slab all right so a pretty simple uh, outline overall uh, now we're just gonna finish the uh, flap outlining so just coming from this uh, smooth or stone brick slab in the wing root, and just come up one from that, and then just do four in a row. So one, two, three, four, and that'll finish the flap outlining. Now, this block here was just one of the layer uh, the layer outlines, and the next one is just one block like that. Uh, so now for all of this open space, we can just fill it with uh, smooth stone slabs. So barely takes any time at all, just like that. Uh, and that is mostly the wing done. We just got one more little detail here. On this, these first three blocks here uh, of the leading edge of the wing, uh, right after it goes up a layer, we're going to get our birch button out and parallel to the aircraft, just place three. Uh, these are just some, um, I believe, vortex generators on the bottom of the wing. Uh, there's four in real life, as mine mentioned in the showcase. Um, but it's better to scale it to three here. Uh, so yeah, so if you are building the ERJ-145, uh, not the XR variant, uh, you're good to go on the wing. Uh, and we'll be adding the winglet uh, later, if you are building the uh, XR variant. That's the winglet. Alright, so for the winglet on the ERJ-145, it is very simple. Um, we're just going to start by replacing this last uh, smooth stone slab with a purple slab. Come straight out from that with a purple uh, top slab. And then now we're going to be using our dead brain coral fan. Now in the Aero Team pack, if you don't know, this is our uh, white wall sideways slab, as you can see here. Uh, if you are in vanilla, you can probably just to use walls in place of this, uh, but I would highly encourage you to use the pack for this part, especially. Alright, so just place our two uh, temporary blocks, dead brain coral fan on either side, and then we can just replace in, like so. After that, we're just going to place on this rear rib one, uh, one uh, purple slab, and we're almost done here. Now, if you do have rolled at it, you can place the wing, uh, strobe, or I can't remember if it's strobe or nav light, uh, or not nav light. It's one of the lights, the white light on the end of the wing. But anyway, uh, torch on the end right there, and then we're just going to replace it onto this first, uh, half slab of the winglets. But yeah, if you are building the XR variant, uh, that will be what you want to do. All right, so starting with the engines now, you're first going to get your purple stairs uh, back out. And to start, we're going to come to this final uh, window here. Come up one, and then back two. And this block right here, you can place a forward, or sorry, inward facing purple stair uh, like this. So this should be about two blocks from the end of the window there. You can go back three more with this for a total of four, like so. And then we can get our acacia button out and place one perpen or sorry, parallel to the fuselage on that second one back. All right, moving on, we can take our emerald ore and black concrete, place an emerald ore just on this first uh, block here with an acacia button on it. And we're going to get 
our smooth stone slab and jungle trapdoor. Place a smooth stone slab, uh, not like that. There we go. And then jungle trapdoor is closed on either side of the engine there. And then just one on top. So it's the E145 engine has this kind of like oblong sort of shape. Uh, so yeah. But anyway, we can go back on the underside at two blocks with our uh, white wool and get your stone button. And on the second block back, only on the outside, not on the inside, uh, you can just do one stone button. Go back two blocks with your purple slab. And then you can get your birch trapdoor and just place one final trapdoor there. And then you get your black concrete there. And then fill in this gap between the uh, emerald ore and the black concrete with just some uh, Benny block because you're not really going to see it. Uh, I just did just regular white wool. Uh, you can then take your dark oak button, which is a slightly brown texture, um, and then around that button you can just place uh, birch trapdoors for the engine exhaust. The end of the cowling. Uh, on this side of the uh, black concrete, you can just do, or, yeah, black concrete, uh, you can just do one more birch trapper, and then we're gonna get our dead brain coral fan again, just place three in a row. If you're on default, maybe use, uh, walls. Uh, on top here, coming back from this, uh, trapdoor here, we're gonna do three, uh, purple slabs, and then just one more birch trapdoor to finish it off. Uh, let me just make sure. Oh, yes. Uh, and then on the these bottom two blocks here, you can get your acacia button and jungle button. Acacia will go on this first block and jungle on the second. Uh, but yeah, that'll be all for the engine. Um, it's pretty small, so I'll just do it on uh, both sides. Uh, so we can just come out here again with our stairs. Come three more back, uh, like so. And then acacia button on that second one. We can do emerald door on the front stair, black black concrete on the last one, and then just fill in the gap. Uh, dark oak button on the back, and then acacia button on the front. Smooth stone slab under the acacia button, and then oops, I have it in my inventory. Uh, jungle trap doors all around it, like so. And then, let's see, we got our two white wool blocks uh, underneath with our acacia and then jungle button, two more purple slabs, and then one burst trap door. One burst trap door on the side there, and then just one on the top, and then just the rest to uh, finish this off here. Now we just got another birch trapper on top, three slabs, and the brain coral fan. And last, uh, hopefully block, is that stone button. Uh, but that will be all for the engines. Uh, so yeah. All right, so for the interior of the aircraft, which is probably one of the smallest interiors that we've got a tutorial on, um, or that's even possible in Minecraft, um, I'm gonna come inside here. I already made a little hole. Um, and we're gonna come all the way to the back of the plane. Uh, we're gonna go backwards to forwards, uh, and then just do the cockpit last, because if we go forwards to backwards, then we won't be able to get out. But anyway, here is the cargo hold. Uh, you might remember when we built it. Anyways, we're going to be placing a birch door just right there. Make sure it's on the back block and not this block here, because now we're going to be placing prismarine stairs with a slab on top and then a gray carpet. Now for this pattern, the slab, uh, stair, and carpet, we're going to do 11 of those going forward. So we got, this is one already, so two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. 
And on this 11th one, you are not going to put a carbon. Or actually, uh, yes, you are. Sorry, apologies for that. Anyways, uh, we're going to now get out our dead 2 curl fan, which is a, uh, let's see, that would be a smooth stone sideways slab. And just place a 2x2 two two, uh, of those. Coming forward from that, we need to just place one birch door on this wall here. So we'll place it like that. There we go. Then two diorite slabs in this little space. And then we're just going to place a gray banner on this door, like so. And this is the entire cockpit. Uh, pretty small. So let's see if we can get out now. Oh, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Okay, well, I'm going to have to delete this. And then there we go. Okay, and then now we can just replace this stair. And there we go. That'll do it from the, for the uh, interior. Uh, you can barely see it in there, but it is there, and you will know it's there. So... Anyway, we can now move on to the landing gear. Alright, now just to finish off the landing gear, we'll be real quick going through the main landing gear. Uh, I just realized I did actually make a small mistake on the underside layering of the wing. Uh, this block here should actually be a full block. So this first layer should go 3-2 uh, like that. So uh, you can just fix that real quick, not too hard. Sorry about that though. Uh, and once that's done, we can continue on. So if you are having the landing gear down, we can replace this slab just outwards of it with a stair, like so. And then just have a smooth stone slab out for the uh, door. Just one, uh, what would it be, black wool block on the inside of that. And then we're going to have to delete some blocks here. Just a lever flipped facing towards the wheel. Now, if you built... Uh, the fuselage with the gear up already. Um, you should have a wheel here. Uh, I deleted that already and just uh, replaced it with a half slab in there. Um, so yeah. Uh, so just so you know. Uh, but yeah. So I already did that on that side. So you can just replace this with a stair. Swiss on slab. Black wool. And lever there we go flipped facing the wheel and let's see if we can ever just replace all this all right and that will do it for the erj145 congratulations on completing this aero team tutorial thanks for choosing an aero team video we hope you enjoyed it building it and we hope you'll build more feel free to use this embraer erj145 in any public project as long as you give the aero team credit if you did build this tutorial, let us know by tagging us on our Twitter at AeroTeamMC or share it with us in the Minecraft channel on our Discord. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. We do all sorts of Minecraft tutorials and showcases, and you can be the first to see them when they come out. Again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm X13, and thanks for watching.